Mr. Andrew Tabler, uh, my name is Rahim Rashidi. I would like to know your uh, thought. Uh, what do you think of Kurdish people in Syria and the effects on Iraqi uh, Kurdistan? The population in Syria um, is distributed in the, the northeast of the country um, and also around Aleppo historically um, and also in Idlib province and part of Aleppo province. Um, I think uh, among those groups you have those that traditionally support um, uh, and have been very close to the Assad regime and a number of other more moderate factions which uh, which are not. Um, but the most important thing is I think Kurds are very worried about security in their areas in the post-Assad Syria. Um, so I think that you're going to see a lot of working together by Kurdish groups. Um, and a lot of that has been facilitated out of Iraq recently um, through a number of meetings that have been uh, that, that have taken place there. Um, and, uh, and hopefully they'll be able to guarantee security in their areas uh, as the Assad regime gives way. How about Iranian government? Yeah, I think Iran uh, is the main supporter of the Assad regime. I think um, uh, it's also a major supporter, uh, at least politically, of the and not militarily of the PKK. Um, this is a major problem uh, for Turkey, which has a, a long border with, uh, with Syria, and um, means that again it's another way that this conflict can spill outside of its borders and uh, affect regional politics. Everyone think that Iraqi Prime Minister Nouri Maliki supports the Assad regime. What do you think of this? I think that uh, the support of, uh, of the Iraqi government, um, at least parts of it for the Assad regime, is a product of uh, the fact that it has to balance relations with Iran, and Iran is a major supporter of the Assad regime. I think that support for the Assad regime will change as the regime's uh, influence weakens over parts of the country, and if not over all the country. And um, over time, the Iraqi position will, will have to shift accordingly. Thank you very much. Sure. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Jeffrey White, uh, what are uh, the effects uh, will be on uh, clubs of Assad regime on Kurdish people and uh, especially Iran? Well, on the Kurds, I think the collapse of the regime is going to give them a, a considerable amount of de facto autonomy in, in eastern Hasaka province, particularly in Syria, where they're already enjoying increased autonomy. Because the regime drew a lot of its security forces uh, from Hasaka province already. Um, so I think when the regime is gone, the Kurds are going to feel you know, much more, you know, not totally independent, but much, uh, you know, it's a strong degree of uh, de facto autonomy. That's, for the, that's in the interim period. And then what happens over you know, the long term, um, you know, we'll have to see how that works out. Thank you.